Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot card. And we can go straight away uh, to the spread. So the first card, which regards to the topic of Gemini's week, that is going to be the temperance card, followed by uh, the second one, which is what uh, the challenge itself throughout the week, that is going to be the king of pentacles, followed by the third card, which is what helps you throughout the week, the positivity out there, that is going to be the uh, judgment. And then the last one uh, is going to be the guidance here that you should follow, or rather like the guidance that Taro is uh, offering to you, Geminis. This is going to be the, king, the Queen of Pentacles. So once again, um, Temperance is the first one, followed by, uh, which is the topic here, followed by the King of Pentacles. That is the second card, which is the challenge. Third one, uh, we do have the judgment, and that is going to be the positivity out of the week, what helps you there. And the last one, we do have the queen of pentacles, that is the guidance. Okay, so from the first glance, it does look like the a cooperation that you are doing until this very moment with someone. It doesn't have to be a business one, you know, any kind of cooperation, any kind of a teamwork or a cumulative experience that you do have with someone is going to start differentiate. What I mean is that your ideas uh, or your yearnings uh, of the um, or the yields you will try to uh, achieve through this cooperation or a cumulative experience are going to start differentiate, differentiating with the person which you are having that experience with. Uh, how this week is going to end, are you going to achieve a, a full separation or you are going to achieve a, a common ground? Uh, well, these cards are advising you to try and achieve a common ground, but yet, uh, if you know the differences are so, so big, you can go for a um, separation as well. It does depend on what your situation is. So the first card, which is the topic of your week, that is going to be the temperance. And this card points that there are going to be a lot of chores that you will have to tackle throughout the week. And as a matter of fact, when we talk about chores, we're talking about those kind of activities which you are finding rather um, not very beneficial ones to attend to. But in the same time, you will start realizing that without them, you know, the grand goal of yours, being with someone, uh, getting that job of yours, you know, or, or performing well into career, it depends what your goal is, cannot be, you know, achieved in the same time frame that you're anticipating it, or it is going to become a harder than it needs to be. Therefore, this week, it does look like that you're going to find yourself very, very busy attending to exactly those chores which could appear plights moving forward into the future. Additionally to that, the temperance here, it does point that the week is going to be 
filled up with a solidarity and compassion which you're going to face from the people that are surrounding you. And additionally to that, this week also will have somewhat an a, a healing power. So you can take advantage of, for example, improving your lifestyle, <clears throat> attending to healing procedures and these kind of uh, sort of stuff. The accompanied card here, uh, that is to be the Two of Cups. Oh my, and uh, the formation here it is a active enemies. So it looks like that the more you attend to those chores, the more uh, you kind of like mm, stand forth behind you know, you know, your opinions and your points of view, the more you will start realizing that you don't need the one that is next to you, all right? It's just, it doesn't make any sense because they don't help you. This is what these cards are pointing. So let's say that you are in a business with someone and you do all the chores this week that business, uh, that business demands. And suddenly you realize, why do I need a business partner if, you know, if I'm doing everything there or I'm doing the substantial part of the job, all right? So this could um, manifest itself into a friendship, into a relationship, God forbid, God forbid, you know, but it can, it could manifest into a teamwork, into your career as well, where, you know, you are a coworker of yours or toiling upon a project and you suddenly realize that you are the one who toils 90% of the, of the time while the other one is just, you know, collecting the benefits and so on and so forth. So the, yeah, this week it is where you will <clears throat> find out that, um, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know how to express it really in English, guys, but you are to find out that you can completely push on forward on your own and you don't need the one that sits next to you, which so-called helps you, you know, uh, with your endeavors. And as we speak about the one that helps you with your endeavors, uh, that is to be the King of Pentacles. So, uh, King of Pentacles is a challenge Well, basically, uh, what the problem of this person that um, is actually acting more as a, uh, uh, as a predicament than a help, is because, you know, they don't think that uh, they're well compensated. That's the thing, all right. So they they don't think that their are uh, that their efforts are compensated with what you pay them, for example. So let's say that you do have a your private business and you do uh, use an accountant, and that accountant really does such a crappy job. Uh, that is not because they cannot do the job right. It's because they think that they do deserve bigger payment for what they're doing. Or if they are to do their uh, duties completely, they do deserve a bigger payment. So that is the challenge here to kind of find an, an, a common ground in between how much this person kind of benefits from um, the endeavor you both are contributing into uh, and how much, uh, you know, they are involved into the endeavor itself. Because at this very point, it seems unfair from the other side of the scale where you feel unfair that you are doing most of the job and that person gets paid in one way or another. They could get paid with emotional contemplation, you know, they can get paid with material uh, benefits and so on and so forth. Um, the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, Four of Cups and the formation, it is a passive friend that we do have here. Uh, now, if you don't talk about uh, with this person, which you do have a cumulative experience, I do believe that they're going to detach very soon on their own accord. Uh, the problem is that they're, they're not going to give you even a notice about it. So it will be good if it, for you to raise the question. Uh, for example, if you are in a relationship and you see your partner lately being disinterested to do whatever kind of a um, uh, an enterprise in the relationship itself and they seem a little bit of a distant, you definitely have to raise the question or address, you know, the matter throughout this week because uh, here the challenge, it seems quite challenging. I mean, the, these cards, the uh, King of Pentacles and the Four of Cups now point to this person seriously consider, is it worth staying with you and seriously consider that they can find a, a better result elsewhere, which could point that they do have other alternatives. They do have other options available. And if that's about relationship, that could speak that they are kind of like someone else, you know, but th these cards does not speak that they, that 
your partner, for example, have an affair, but it does peak that they may kind of like someone else, okay? Um, and uh, it's not too late to kind of like um, um, fix the issue here. It's not because they don't like you or they don't love you. It is just they are bored, okay? They're just bored and you see a reason why should they move on forward with all that. So uh, what helps you here? Uh, that is going to be uh, the judgment. And as the judgment stays as a helping force, it does point to a, a fateful event happening which will give you the resources and the, mean, and the means uh, you do require in order to persevere throughout that situation, if, may, uh, if we may um, kind of like define it that way. The judgment also points that uh, throughout this week, this person, which kind of seems insubordinate in regards to your cumulative experience, will have somewhat a, a tendency to give another go, all right? I mean, for the sake of the past that you do had in between one another, they will give with this card one more chance. I don't want to say one last chance, but it does look like as a one more chance for the sake of that they, how can I place it? For the sake of that they know that they have tried everything they could. Uh, the accompanied card of uh, the judgment, that is going to be the four of wands. And uh, it's a very strong combo now. It is a, an active supporters. And it looks like that throughout this week, um, you are going to find out what really is missing in this uh, in this cooperation, in this relationship, or in this business partnership, partnership or whatever. You and that person are going to find out what was overlooked until this very moment as a, a very important detail, which is going to be the detail gluing you together, uh, traversing, you know, the crack that you do have in between one another and so on and so forth. So a, a very important or kind of like very beneficial week for one to resuscitate relationships, for one to resuscitate partnership or pa partnerships, friendships, you know, or just a, a positive attitudes into one um into one's career but what is needed here guys is to recognize that there is an issue all right and to as well address that issue straight away doing so uh, throughout the week you and that person because this person we're seeing that they're going to be willing to cooperate if the direction of the action is in you know, is, is in this way of fixing the relationship itself. So they're going to be willing to cooperate and together you and that person, it seems that uh, you are going to get to the bottom of it, find out what was overlooked, what was missing in there as an important detail and work it out, work it over. And it seems that should you be persistent enough, that thing is going to glue your, uh, your relationship and is going to resuscitate it which uh, leads us to the last card here of the reading. That is going to be the guidance here. Queen of Pentacles It is what we do have. And um, at that point, you may ask yourself, well, yeah, maybe I will have a chance, you know, to fix my broken relationship, but does it really worth it? Well, as a guidance, this card says, yeah, it, it does worth it. I mean, you do still have what to benefit into one another here with the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles points that you do have an options here to for yet unexplored in the framework of the current enterprise. Not elsewhere, not with new relationship, not with new partnership, not with new friendship, but in this current uh, relationship, friendship, partnership, co-worker relationship, and you name it, okay? But with the Queen of Pentacles, it's going to be very important as well. Uh, you both to recognize um, what makes you comfortable, really, and, and, and how you both can contribute to this cumulative comfort that you can have into uh, should that relationship move on forward as well. Therefore, you know, uh, this could be the, the way I see it here with the, garden, with the guidance card, that should be a, a deal that you do kind of sign up for, a deal that you both have a responsibilities toward one another, toward the project you're working over, toward the relationship you're in, and so on and so forth. And you both need to uh, kind of be very serious and devoted to those responsibilities as well. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. 
the formation that we do have it is a uh, a passive enemies and um, uh, with uh, should you do all that I mean realize that you do still have what to give into one another either as an emotional uh, contemplation or emotional fulfillment you know or a business lucrivity here uh, it does look like that uh, this fear of being left alone, this fear of uh, not having this person next to you in the near future is going to uh, evaporate, seeing that there is, you know, still a chance, uh, not just only a chance, but that person is also determined, you know, to work the things through with you either. So, uh, like I said here, Cancer is very potent week for you to... Um, reconcile you know or to repair broken friendships broken partnerships and broken relationships should you want to do so i mean if you don't want to do so everything that you have to do is just do nothing here you know and the week is gonna go peaceful for you uh, and your relationship is gonna continue on deteriorating to a point of no return most likely so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading for um May 13th to May 19th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.